Well, what's a ghost gun is a gun that you make essentially at home using a 3D printer, or you buy certain parts to the gun and you assemble it without the serial number. Um, it certainly uh, can make it more difficult for law enforcement to trace firearms if they don't have serial numbers, but that's after a crime has been committed. Guns don't commit crimes. People commit them with the assistance of a gun or a knife or anything else that they can get their hands on. The interesting thing to me is in the last two years, there have been over 20 million new firearms sold in this country. When I started off as a lobbyist in the mid 80s, uh, the whole, uh, the industry would only sell about two to three million guns in a year. Uh, so that's a tremendous demand that people in this country have um, for firearms. And what it's really saying is they're fearful uh, that they're not going to be able to get the kind of law enforcement protection that Ronald was given his his folks in D.C., uh, where you know the police and, and you have a relationship and you feel that they're there to protect you. Increasingly, people feel like they're on their own when they need help, and they're going to turn uh, to uh, being able to protect themselves, which the law allows them largely to do.